360 look for you tonight in our ongoing reports on the relationship between cannabis and opioids in Colorado. Some say the reason folks moved here was to get off the pills by using the plant, while others believe the legalization of marijuana has made the opioid epidemic worse. Our Colette Bordelon reports. I didn't want to sacrifice the freedom that I had served for just to gain access to something that might save my life. That's why Matthew Kale moved to Colorado from North Carolina in 2013. I'm doing much better now, um, thanks in, in large part to cannabis. Kale served in the Army, but in 2010, that came to an abrupt halt when he suffered a traumatic brain injury, among other issues. I was on some of the most potent opioids known to man. Eventually, they weaned me off to OxyContin, which is not exactly something to be weaned off onto. He began using cannabis when in Colorado and says that's what got him off all opioids entirely. My family has a father and a husband back. I'm happy for him that he's off his opioids, but that's an anecdote, it's a story. And I have a lot of stories of patients that doesn't help their pain. But Dr. Ken Finn, a pain medicine physician. Since we legalized for recreational use in 2014, prescription opioid deaths have gone up by 90%. Sees a very different connection between cannabis and opioids. The number of deaths continue to rise despite most of the medical marijuana cars being recommended for pain. We asked the El Paso County Coroner for local numbers on opioid related deaths. They've been trending downward consistently until 2020 with a big increase. The coroner says is mainly because of the rise in fentanyl, but also says the pandemic may have played a role. We've had an explosion of drug overdoses, and it's not just an opioid problem, it's a polysubstance problem we have. But Kale swears by the cannabis. Since coming here, I've met hundreds, if not thousands of other veterans who have, who have come here specifically to use cannabis to get off of opioids. Every single one of them that I've met says their life is better for it. And says it's more than just his story. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5. Colette, thanks. No matter what side of the story you're on, help is available. We should, should mention that there are a lot of places locally ready to help those struggling with addiction, no matter what form that might take. Many have even expanded during the pandemic to help meet the growing demand. Some options include Springs Recovery Connection, Aspen Ridge, Sandstone Care, and Aspen Point, just to name a few. Remember, you don't have to fight addiction alone. We've got all the resources for you in the web version of the story from Colette at KOAA.com.